Hi, I'm Casey. And I guess for this video, we're just doing notes on the fourth string. So I guess just to start, so you want your guitar all tuned and regular tuning is just called standard tuning on guitar, just real quick. So first string closest to you is E. So E sounds like, and then A, so A, and then D, and then G, and then B, and then E. wrote out the rest of the notes that we were learning on it on the little chart so we already went through G A B C D E F and G so now we're doing another form of D E and F so on the so this is the third string away from you so that's D so just playing it, it's going to sound like this. So that's D. And then on here you see the second fret is E. So you're going to take your second finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. And play that. And that's E. And then with that, you'll take your third finger and you place it on the fret just next to that on the third fret. And then you play that, and that's an F. So, so real quick, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to take the camera just a little bit closer so I can show you where my fingers are. Okay, so now this being close up. So, I guess first off, I said that this, the fourth string was third string away from you. It might be just like a little confusing. Basically, what I meant by that, whenever I say fourth string, I mean fourth from the string, fourth from the string furthest away from you. So the string furthest away from you is the first string, and then in front of that, second, and then third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And the sixth string is the one that's closest to you. So just to clarify that. And so again, playing the fourth string by itself is D and then you'll take your second finger and you'll put it on the third fret remember in between or second fret in between the two bars you'll have it in between the first and second metal bar so this is the second fret so press down the string enough to actually make the sound it'll sound like this and that's an E and so after that you can take your third finger you can either keep your second finger on here and put your third finger on the third fret, or you can take it off. It's really just however it works for you. But basically, you're going to have your third fret in between the second and third metal bar on the string enough force to make the sound. And that's an F. So again, that's open string with D, and second fret E, and then F on the third fret. And that's them here again. So open string D, and second fret E, and third fret F. Okay. So now I'm just gonna pause it, and I'm gonna zoom back out, and I'm gonna just kind of go over some of the other strings again. Okay. So right now I'm just gonna go over like the different notes on the strings. We could do exercises, but right now, like if you're a beginner, then this is this is probably like a good point where you can just review. So in the next video, in the next guitar video, I'm going to try to put down some exercises that you can work on with all the different notes. So pulling out this again. So just to go over, so I already showed you D, and then second fret is E, and then F, and then the string behind that, 
is G, which is the third string. Then A. And that's all the notes on that string. And then you have the second string, which is B. And then first fret, which is C. And third fret is D. And then the first the first string, which is the string furthest away from you, is E. And then on the first fret of that one is F. And then G. So one simple thing, you can just practice uh, just kind of going through them. So you can just kind of go up. Uh, and I guess just as an example, just start at the low, the low D and then go all the way up to G. So it basically sounds like this. And you don't have to do that fast. Like if, if you're still pretty new to this and you can't like change your uh, finger placements that fast enough, then that's fine. You can go at your own speed. So right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set a metronome and I'm just going to go up that scale and then back down. So I'm going to start at the D and go up to the G and then start at the G again and then go back down. So I have a metronome set for 50 BPM, which is 55, or 50, 55 BPM. So this is 55 beats per minute. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna play that and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just play all these notes going up and then back down. And I will count for this so we can help you. And feel free to play along if you want. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I just held out some of the notes at the end and all that basically was was it ended on a note that wasn't four. So I'm just gonna do this without the metronome and count. So so yeah. So I'm just gonna do that again and I'm gonna try to count and I'm going to go up and whenever I end on G, I'm gonna play that I'm gonna play that same note again and then I'm gonna go back down. So as I count in and go one two, three, four, one, 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 two. And so when playing this, sometimes like in certain songs, you'd want to stop the note right before you play another one. So that's just sound like this. But in some songs, you'd want it all to just run smoothly. So you'd want to play it in just a progression to where it all just kind of fits together smoothly. Like. So basically what that is, you are technically stopping the sound right before you play it, but uh, it's not such a stop that like you notice it. So basically if you were to stop it, it would sound like this. So you're just playing it real quick and then playing the other one. But for the other way, you're basically letting it ring out. And so that's pretty much what you would want for um, like quarter notes when playing because if you want the quarter notes it would have to last that entire beat so if you're counting one two three four instead of going like one two three four and i'll just and just playing them all like that you'd want to blend it all together and basically go one two three four okay 
And whenever you play the really short note, the musical term for that is staccato. And basically that just means like you're gonna play just a, like a really short note, just. And so just in case if you don't know how to like stop the note, there's actually a few different ways to do it. So we're not there yet, but if uh, you were playing just like a chord, like basically one way to stop that would basically be to not put as much pressure on it. So you go. And basically all I did was I strummed it and then on my left hand, I just raised my fingers a bit so I'm not putting any pressure on the strings. I'm just laying it over the top because whenever that happens, it doesn't make any sound. And so you can technically do the same for notes, but uh, personally for me, it's a little harder. So basically all you're doing is say, for example, I'm playing E on the fourth string. So one way to do it is you just play it and you release your finger where it's just sitting on the top. But personally, that's not usually what I do whenever I play it. Basically what I do is right as, right as I play, I take my right hand and I go back on top of that string because that will stop the sound. So, so it just as like an exaggerated motion. Uh, so whenever you put your hand back on that string, it'll stop it. And basically that, and if you do that a few times, that will be your staccato. So. And so now I'm just going to go over some of the notes. I'm just gonna go back up that scale again, but I'm gonna do it in both ways. And like in the regular way that where you hold out the note for the entire beat and as a uh, staccato, which is the, just the short note. So I'm not gonna count for this. So you can play it for me or you can play it with me if you want. And again, Whenever I'm playing G on the E string, which is the furthest string away from you, whenever I get up to that, I'm gonna play that <laughs> note. Sorry. I'm gonna play that note again and then go back down. So basically, whenever I go up, so I play that G twice and then go back down. So I'm gonna do a count in and then I'm going to play the notes for the full beat. So one, two, three, four. So that was for the full duration. And so now I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm going to do a staccato, which again is just a quick note. And to mute it, you can either take your finger and lift it real quick. But if you're playing an open string to where your finger is not on it, say a D, either to mute that, you can just put your hand over the string, but that's, um, that's just a little bit more harder I mean, it might be easier for you, but uh, personally, I, I don't do it like that. I just mute it with my right hand, which again is just, you just put your hand back on the string. And so I guess whenever I do that, I take my two fingers right next to my pointer finger. And as soon as I play it, I basically take those two fingers and I just touch the string to make the sound go away. And that's very much what it is. You don't have to use that two fingers. You could basically just use your entire hand if you wanted. So, so I'm just gonna go over the scale. Again, I'm going to do a count in. I'm gonna try to keep it the same speed. And I'm just gonna go back up. And then whenever it gets to the high G, remember, just like the last one, I'm gonna play that one twice and then go back there. So I'm gonna do a count in and then again, I'm gonna do this staccato, which is the short note. So one, two, three, four.
So that's basically that. And remember, whenever you're playing it, you could just mute it with that string or you can lift up. Whenever I did that, all I did is I muted it with my with the hand that was actually picking the note, my right hand. So I think that is about all I have planned. So for this time I was just gonna going to go over the notes because again, if you're a beginner, then this is already like a good amount of notes for you to learn. Because you basically learned all the basically all the notes that you can learn except for uh, sharps and flats which we will eventually get to but basically so as you can see we did D F and G today which you've already done up here and in music it only goes from A to G so it goes A B C D E F G and then it restarts so that's basically that so again as a beginner this is probably a good amount for you to learn in the next video, I'm going to try to uh, basically put down some exercises that we can work on with all those notes and just basically just go over them. And then the next videos, I can go over the fifth string and the sixth string. Yep. Again, I'll just play all the notes just one more time. So again, you have D and then E on the second fret of the fourth string, and then F on the third fret of the fourth string, and then you have G, which is the which is just third string, you're not pushing down anything. And then on the second fret of the G string is A. And then the next one after that is the second string, which is B. And then the first fret of that C. And then on the third fret, D. And then the first string, which is the furthest one away from you, is E. And then the first fret on that one is F. And then the third fret on that one is G. So that, again, is everything. Next time I'll try to put down some exercises for us to work on. So just basically just try to work on this, try to practice it, get the, basically get the, um, just get like the staccato and like the full note and everything like that. So I believe that is all I have planned. So I guess bye. Good luck and make sure to practice guitar sound toy.